Hi, today I want to show you um, what I received from Sheet Studio Technology in Hong Kong. Of course, a couple of uh, printed circuit boards. Um, I get them every month, about every month. Um, and this used package, which I think contains the stencil I ordered. Um, a PCB stencil, so for uh, uh, stenciling with solder paste instead of soldering parts manually. Um, I want to show you how it looked like, um, uh, how the quality is. Uh, it's not the first stencil I have, but um, the second actually, because uh, I ordered one previously from OSH, stencils. Uh, I think this quality is good enough. Um, uh, you, you see it's a very easy uh, board I use to uh, use the stencil on. Um, but I want to show you the one from Seed Studio I received. So first start with the printed circuit boards I received today. Um, I ordered the, the, my first four layer board. So I'm very curious if uh, there's anything notice noticeable from the outside. Let's see what's in here. Different colors. These are the four layer boards. We'll unpack one in a moment. So a lot of them. This is a green board. Um, for enthusiasts that who like to experiment with hardware on a ZX Spectrum, so it's a, a simple experiment board. There's going to be a, a breadboard here where you can stick in wires. Uh, let's see, this is another interface, and those are wide interfaces, as you can see, um, for stereo kits for inside your ZX Spectrum. Uh, joystick interfaces, boards of course. Um, first, I promised I will unpack the, my first four layer board made by Seed Studio. It looks awesome, but there's nothing, uh, no way I can actually guarantee or see if it's four layer. So I just have to check and test. Um, there should be some ways of checking it. Of course, I have the, the files so I can. Uh, Check if there are actually four layers. I cannot see anything from the side from the the side of the board. Uh, it just seems one board. So yeah, well, um, I'm curious how they do it, but that's for later. Um, well, I think I have to make some space for the other large package now. I have no idea how to open this one. Uh, let's see. Carefully from the side, maybe. understand they uh, have to pack it this very carefully with a lot of bubble foil. They're actually, uh, well, one, two, three, four, four layers of bubble foil around this package. And I don't want to make this a live 911 video, so I have to be careful with the knife. It's sharp. It's cheap, but it's sharp. Okay, so, phase one completed. It actually surprised me how large it is, because the other stencil I got, for a larger interface, is only this size, you know? So I, I have no idea what, what's in here. Um, maybe they put a frame around it. I don't think I ordered it, but I'm curious. So there's a lot of garbage on the floor at the moment, but... Okay... There's some wood or cardboard in between here. I won't keep you waiting, guys. So, I will get it out now. So this is the actual uh, protection for the stencil, I guess. So... The nylon got off. Well, let's see what's in here. Wow. Look at that. I didn't expect it would be so large. Why is it so large? Why did it make why did they make them this so large? There's only <laughs> it's only so small, you see? Um I hope there's some light in there. It's only so small. Why is there so much metal around it? <coughs> Here's uh, some information about um, the 
file I sent them. No, don't know if it's readable from there. Well, let's see. Yeah, here it is. You can see it. So okay, there's uh, some protective um, plastic on it. Nothing more. Well, here's some. What is this? Why is this on there? It's aluminium, I think. No idea. Okay. Um, it looks pretty nice. I wonder how thin it is because uh, this one is really sheet metal, as you can see. You can hear it. It's like a saw, band saw. Um, and I think this is even thinner. It feels thinner than the other one. Let's feel the difference. Yeah, it's thinner. I think it's a uh, two third or maybe a half of the other one. And that would be good because um, most of the time with that stencil I had too much shoulder paste on my uh, PCBs causing uh, solder bridges to occur and I'm not afraid of solder bridges but it's always a uh, lot of work to remove or oh, not, not a lot of work, it is some work to remove them oh this foil is coming off in a hard way but it's off it's sticky so there's some remains here we'll clean that with alcohol um, well I think uh, it's good quality uh, if I look closely, and I have good eyes, so I hope there's some truth in this. Uh, it looks like the uh, very high, uh, fine pitch uh, parts, like this 64-pin CPLD chip um, location. The the the, the rectangles are a bit rounded on the edges, I think, but that's no problem. It feels really thin, so I I think I uh, I will like this. The only problem is. As you can see, it's so large. The sheet of metal is so large. Um, I don't think I can easily uh, cut it. So um, I think I have to just make one large board for it, um, so I can uh, uh, actually stencil it. Well, the benefit of this, of course, is when you you put the solder paste on here, and you move it over the the holes, you can wipe it off easily. Uh, I use these this uh, solder paste from uh, Felder. Uh, it's a um, leaded solder paste and I use uh, simple tools like one of these oh, to uh, apply the solder paste um, on the PCB um, I'm actually not going to show you how to apply the solder paste at the moment because I have to prepare uh, a plate for it um, uh, but I will show you in another video. Um, one last thing I can show you now is I really like these cardboard or wood um, supports for the stencil uh, because I think this is what they used to drill holes in PCBs. There are tiny, very tiny holes in here. Um, so it looks like what's underneath the 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 boards when they are producing the printed circuit boards but uh, okay that's only packaging how can someone be so enthusiastic about packaging yeah <laughs> well thank you for watching this video um, if you like it give a thumbs up push the button uh, if you dislike it push the other button uh, subscribe to the channel please if you want to um, check out my web page um, in the video description and also you can find there the link to the sheet studio web page where you can order PCBs, the stencils and all kinds of very neat products. Uh, thank you, bye!